portion must have been 2.5 tons. And there were two. Did you notice? Two separate explosions, which means there were two bombs, one time to go off right after the other. I wonder, I think it was dynamite. What are you talking about? Who cares how many bombs there were? Look at this. Don't you feel anything? What do you want me to feel? Am I supposed to feel what you're feeling? Is that what an angel does? I don't know what an angel does anymore. Watch what you're saying, Miss Waynes. No, Tess. Why should I teach her to use her heart if it's only going to get broken? No one has a heart like me, right? No one should have one either. And better that she never learn how to use hers. I wish I'd never learned how to use mine. Baby, don't go. We need you. I can't help them anymore, Tess. I don't know how. No, you stay right here. Don't you move. I'm supposed to stay with Monica. Not right now. You stay right here and don't you move. Your assignment is still that little girl. Wherever she is. name was Jane. I know, Tess. I just, I just took Jane out. And the little girl? She's still inside. She's still alive, but if they don't find her soon, it's going to be too late. <laughs> I've got an idea. Considering the likely trajectory of the dog, while allowing for the probability of interference from other debris at the time of the explosion, and assuming she had the dog in her possession at the time... I've got the child positioned seven meters from the main entrance, which would put her right about there. Hello? Help. Help me. Hey, we got a kid down here! How is she doing? She's unconscious. Why don't you hold her hand? She's unconscious. The spirit knows. Trauma team four to the ER staff. Trauma team four to the ER staff. I've brought you a pad and a pen. Uh, you're going to see a lot of things here. I know you'll have a lot of questions. Just write them down. Just, just, just write it down, darling. Just write, write it down. You were there. You were born in love. It's not the same here. That's because where you came from, little angel, there is no death. But down here, death is everywhere. 
And you will never understand love on earth until you understand death. I gotta go, I got a lot to do. Try singing to her. Give you a lift. No, thank you. Come on, Monica, you're tired. You know you want to. That's what you're here for. From the moment I was created, I have spent my entire existence avoiding you. Why should I ride with you now? Because it's time. And you know it. I suppose I do. comment on the details of the blast, confirming only that there were originally three separate bombs set to detonate within seconds. If there's anything to be grateful for in this tragedy, it's that by some miracle, the third bomb, which would have taken perhaps a hundred additional lives, failed to discharge. The FBI has expanded its search for suspected bomber Arthur. Tragedy two, miracles one. Have you noticed? It takes twice as many miracles to get their attention. I mean, think of all the buildings that don't explode every day. Nobody realizes the work that goes into that. No wonder an angel gets discouraged, huh? I am discouraged because people like Arthur, whatever his name is, are so easily deluded. Dear Arthur, He's holding a gun to his head this very moment in a barn in Iowa, rereading his farewell manifesto, declaring himself a martyr, <laughs> Con convinced of his intellectual and ideological superiority. Are you proud of yourself? Yes. Of course I am. A man should take pride in his work. You are not a man. Well, I am today. You like the suit? This was a mistake. You let me out. Nice day for a walk. Planning to go the whole 40 days or 40 nights, or can we speed this up a little? It's over. Drive away. Can't do that. It's just too, uh... No. Tempting. <laughs> I got an angel on the brink, ready to fall. I had no intention of falling. You walked away, Monica. You turned your back on God. I turned my back on humanity. No such thing. Humans, yes. Humanity? No. I need to think things over, alone. Funny. That's what Arthur said. Forty years is a long time. Let me tell you, it's no bed of roses. You pay your taxes, you pay your bills, you pay through the nose just to keep up with the Joneses. And nobody pays attention. 
But there are compensations. That's good? Of course good. You come home one night, you sit in your lazy boy, you look into the kitchen and see this wonderful woman in her apron on the phone with her Meshuggan assistant. And you remember the day you met. She walks into the store, Ask me, do I have a pair of white satin pumps? And I say, nobody wears white after Labor Day. And she says, I wear whatever I damn well please. And right then and there, I knew she was the woman for me. What kind of animal could do this? Hello. Is she conscious again? Yes. Oh. Can you talk? Try to keep her awake. Stay awake, please. Tell a story or something. I, I don't know any stories. Well, use your imagination. I don't have one. What? You say once upon a time and you go from there. I'll go get the nurse. Once upon a time, there was a man who wore white after Labor Day. And he lived in a bed of roses with his... Meshugana, his Meshugana sister, and a lazy boy. Um, where are you? Why can't I feel you with me? What has happened to my heart? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. I just don't understand anymore. I remember the days, Monica, when you walked through the desert unshod, unafraid, an angel of God, confident of your divine mission. Little white dove tagging along to prove it. I told you I wanted to be alone. And you know I can't make you do anything you don't want to do. This is a unique opportunity, actually. Here you are with my full and complete attention. Think of it as research. Get to know me. Pick my brain. We don't have to be friends or we don't have to be enemies. You are the enemy. I'm not the enemy. I'm the alternative. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? You can work for me. There are options. Thousands of them. Work for me. I don't suppose you would. You don't have to break your heart working for him, you know. Yes, I know how much it hurts. I am not all bad, you know. I have been there, too. I remember. It's not such a long way down from the top, you know. It only hurts for a second. And you forget. I don't want to forget. Then what are you here for? Because I am hurting. Because as much as God loves them, they hate each other. Oh, they say the words, and, and, and they write the books and the songs about love, and they make the vows of love, but they don't love. And you do? Yes. And you could be a better human, a better lover. Yes. No. Is that what you want? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Well, then you owe it to yourself to find out, don't you think? I don't know. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs>